Okay, Beamer Merchant. Um, today I just want to go ahead and illustrate the difference in motor mounts between an E39 and an E53. In other words, a 540i and a X5 4.4. You can see this is a mount for the 540, similar to the 740s as well. And of course, we all know that when you replace the motor mounts, um, you got to go to remove these. I believe these are 13s, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong though. But anyhow, check this out. Okay. And then we have, this is the right passenger side motor mount for an X5. Um, I guess in this, if you want to remove one of these, you got to go from the top because the bolts are right there. And that is a inverted Torx. It's an E12. And they are on both sides here. Okay, sits right there. Another bolt looks like that. So, interesting. Uh, big difference. Uh, almost similar engines. Again, it's a 4.4, the X5. But of course, there's changes in the uh, lower oil pan. But, um, there's the X5 right here. And if you're looking at the top from the X5, it would sit right here. That's the passenger side. And then we have one right there, the driver's side. And again, uh, the bolts sit. There's one right there. And there's another one right here. Okay, then you pull it out. So, if anybody out there has done the replaced motor mounts on an X5, definitely like to uh, get your input on that. Because uh, I'm trying to see probably the same process but um, we'll definitely go ahead and post a video once we do it but I just want to go ahead and show you the differences in the how the bolts are set up so if one day you want to replace your own instead of looking in the bottom for a 13 just know that it's in the top and it's an inverted E12 okay so again hopefully that helps and thanks for watching